Visual Studio Code is one of the most popular code editors for Microsoft. It is free, lightweight, very powerful, and with VS Code for the web, you can now run Visual Studio Code on any device, be it a laptop, Chromebook, or mobile device. In this video, we'll look at what VS Code for the web is, the features it has to offer, its limitations, and now you can run it on an Android device. Stay tuned. Before we get started, please like the video, subscribe, and log into Twitter and spam everyone you follow with a link to this YouTube channel. Thank you. Visual Studio is an IDE from Microsoft used to develop everything from web apps, games, websites, mobile, and desktop apps, etc. Visual Studio is good, but it is very large, requires more resources to run, and comes with extra build tools you might not need. This is why Visual Studio Code was developed. Visual Studio Code is a lighter, robust, and more flexible version of Visual Studio. It is lightweight, but allows you to download extensions that allow you to write and run any programming language. Visual Studio for the web is a version of VS Code that runs on the browser. This allows you to run it on any mobile device with an internet connection. I reviewed Visual Studio Code for the web the day it came out, but they've added more features since then. To get started using the app, go to vscode.dev. You can use any device to do this, but I'll be using my Android smartphone. The app has an identical layout to VS Code for desktop, and you'll be able to hear that it has almost the same features. You get search, syntax highlighting, and IntelliSense for programming and markup languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, C++, JSON, etc. You will need a Chromebook or a tablet with an external keyboard to take advantage of the other features like speed display, multiple tabs, and the limitless customization options, as these will not fit on a smaller screen. The limitations of VS Code for the web are that the app cannot handle interpreted or compiled programming languages yet. It can't edit files stored in local storage directly and most of the extensions are still unavailable. I noticed that at least some of the extensions are now available which shows progress. VS Code for the web will allow you to take VS Code with you anywhere and give you a basic code editor on any device but it still has a long way to go for me to use it regularly or even recommend it. If you'd like to write code using your mobile devices, check out the best code editors on mobile in this playlist or one of the best code editors on desktop. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great one.